have my January favorite, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump in with the products and accessories that I've really been loving for the month of January. So the first product I'm going to show you is a hair product. Now this is It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and it says it does 10 different things instantly. So it says it repairs dry and damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and works as a flat iron and thermal protection spray. So the main thing that I love about this is I feel like it really helps detangle my hair. So whenever I get out of the shower, I like towel dry my hair, I put it up, and then after I take it down, and it's a little bit damp, but um, definitely not dry yet, I go ahead and spray this just all over my hair, and then I take a comb and brush it out. And I do feel like it adds a really nice smell to my hair. It's very kind of... It's like light and fruity. It smells like really nice shampoo. Um, so it's nothing like offensive that like you wouldn't like. I think pretty much everyone would be fine with the smell. And it really does make my hair feel a lot softer and then it makes it just so much easier to comb through. So I love that kind of as like a detangler. I really haven't seen that it adds much shine or like controls frizz. Um, but I don't know. So anyways, I really do like the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product mainly for like the detangling that it does for my hair. The next product is a teasing brush, and this is from Goody, and this is from like their style line. Just like your normal teasing brush with like kind of the rough bristles. And I tease my hair very gently. I try not to like rip my hair out when I'm doing it or anything. But I do like that it adds a little bit more volume and kind of can like spruce up hair that maybe it's like your second day hair or something and you just need a little bit more like lift and volume to it. So I definitely have been using my teasing brush recently, and I really like this. I believe I got this from Target, and it came in a kit. There was also a teasing cup. Home, but I like the brush better so I've been using that a ton and also another brush is actually from Sonia Kashuk and this is their angled blush brush and I really like this it was a little bit expensive I think it was like 12 to 14 dollars I don't quite remember but I did get this also at Target I really like it because I lost my blush brush so I needed one um, but this one's really 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 soft and it also picks up a lot of color and I like that because then you can kind of like use less of your blush because it does get a lot of color on the brush and then you can just kind of dab it and blend it out and you don't have to like keep dipping it back in the blush to get a color. So I do really like this brush and I think it is worth the price. Again, like I said, it is pricey but it's very, very soft and I think that it deposits color really well. Another product is from MAC and this is something that I've had for probably about two years, so a while, but I just kind of have gotten back into using it lately. This is the Light Sweep Shaping Powder. So it's like a very nice kind of neutral peachy highlight shade. It's not super, super shimmery at all, um, but it definitely does add a nice kind of more matte highlight. I'm not sure if you can even see it. I mean, it's just a very, very peachy tone, um, but I really like it for like a more subtle highlight when I want to kind of put it on the tops of my cheekbones and stuff, but I don't want to look like I have like glitter on my face or anything. And then a highlighter that is a little bit more intense is the Victoria's Secret Pro Radiant Face Illuminate and this is in the color doesn't have a color I guess but it has a nice um, packaging it has a nice little pump and I feel like you get like a good amount of highlighter it seems like there's a lot in here it says it's 0.8 fluid ounces but a little bit of this goes a long way so you really have to use like barely any to get a nice amount of like shimmer um, but this is what it looks like it's a really nice very very slick and creamy um, formulation and then it has a really pretty amount of shimmer but not too much like glitter or anything and it's also kind of like peachy pink tone so these look really nice together if you want to put the um, liquid down first and then put the powder on top of it to kind of set it so the next product is from elf and this is their cream eyeshadow in the color candlelight so it's a really gorgeous like pearly white color and it's super super creamy which I love because um, recently I've just been blending this kind of all over my eyelids and then skipping any like eyeshadow or any crease colors or even really any eyeliner and I just put on like a lot of mascara it just gives like a really like wide-eyed like open effect to the eyes but it's also very quick and simple and it looks pretty natural so I've been doing that a lot lately and I do really love this cream eyeshadow it's not too like white it kind of looks more white like actually in the packaging but on your eyes it kind of looks a little bit more beigey and a little bit more natural and when you blend it out it just gives this really pretty like iridescent sparkle so I've been loving using that and cream eyeshadow is great because it's really nice and quick and especially in the winter when it's a little bit colder you don't have to worry about it like melting off or something if it was hot outside so I've been using that a lot lately 
The next product is from YSL, and this is a nude lipstick in the color 6, and this is their Rouge Per Couture. I have been loving this lipstick. This is such like a luxurious lipstick. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. It's like this gold mirrored packaging. You can see YSL is actually embossed on the lipstick right there. Um, but overall, this color is just so pretty. It goes with everything. It's peachy, but it's also pink, so whether you're someone who prefers more pink tones or more peachy tones, this is pretty much right in the middle. And it's also a nude, but it's not too nude that's going to make you look really like washed out or anything. Um, it's very, very creamy. It has a nice smell. It stays on for a really long time. It's like an amazing lipstick, but they are very expensive. But I feel like the quality of the lipstick is definitely there. So you are paying for like a higher quality like formulation and lasting power as well as like color payoff. So this is kind of like my splurge lipstick whenever I like want to get... Um, kind of dress up and feel like fancy I put this on and I really do love it so this is my YSL Rouge Per Couture lipstick so the next product is something that I like to wear on top of the YSL lipstick but today I'm actually just wearing the gloss this is the elf liquid lipstick and this is in the color baby lips now I really like the way this works it's one of those where you like twist it up and the product comes out um, but overall, this is very nicely pigmented. It's kind of rosy and pink with a little bit of like gold shimmer. Pretty much just the typical lip gloss or lipstick combo that I like to wear. Um, but I really love it. kind of gives like a tingling sensation to your lips, almost like a lip plumper. But it just makes your lips look really full and pretty. And it's also not sticky, but it's very, very glossy, which I like. Which sometimes it is hard to find a lip gloss that's like really glossy and shiny, but then isn't sticky. So I've really been enjoying this. And it's really inexpensive because it is by L. So I definitely have been loving this and I might pick up a few more because I know they had a bunch of different colors um, But this was kind of just the one I was drawn to because it's most like what I wear So the next product is by L'Oreal and this is the magic souffle blush and this is in the color plum It's like a whipped consistency, which is really kind of weird and different, but it's so pretty on your cheeks It gives like a really glowy like natural look because it isn't like a powder and I personally have just been really into like that dewy like natural looking um, blush and highlight and stuff so I really really love this and I really love the color it's really more rosy to me than plum I don't really pick up any like purpley plum colors but this has definitely been a favorite of mine for the whole month of January the last product that is makeup is actually by Essie and this is the nail polish that I actually have on right now um, this is Aruba blue which is kind of a slightly random color but I don't know, I just love it. It's such a glossy, gorgeous blue. It has a ton of like shimmer in it, and it looks good in one coat. Literally, one coat of this looks amazing. I normally put two on, but one coat just looks fabulous. And I love that it's like a bright blue because I wear a lot of black, and so whenever I'm wearing black, this like bright blue just stands out, and it just looks so pretty. So I've been loving Essie's Aruba Blue. Now, as far as fashion and accessories, I want to talk about a pair of shoes. Um, this is a pair of heels from Steve Madden. I love the shape of them. They have the little strap, and then they're just very, very simple black pumps. Um, they kind of have, like, a little bit of a suede feeling to them. And I got these probably, I think, back in, like... August or so I wore them to homecoming so I really like them because my dress was kind of outrageous it had like a lot of like jewels and stuff all in sort of photo and so I just wanted like a pair of like plain black shoes but I didn't really want anything like patent or shiny just because my dress like the material was kind of like showy um but I've really been loving them like recently because throughout like the holiday season and everything when there are a lot of parties and I wanted to wear like something a little bit more fancy these black heels just go with everything and I think they're very like classic and sophisticated just because of their shape. I think they're about a three inch heel, so not very high. Um, I think they have a tiny, tiny platform, but not really. I kind of wish they had a bigger platform. If you guys know of any heels that look similar to this but have a bigger platform, let me know because I think the platform just makes them a lot more comfortable. But I also really love the ankle strap. I think it adds something to them and makes them just like a little bit like different compared to like most black pumps that I see and I also feel like it makes them like look a little bit vintagey. I don't know I just really love them and I think a great um, pair of black pumps that you're comfortable in you can walk well in and that you like on yourself is a great thing to have and like a necessity in every girl's closet so if you don't have a great pair of black heels that you love definitely check them out um, I would recommend these these are from Steve Madden the next thing I want to talk about is kind of funny it's a pair of like pajamas which is weird but I still want to mention it this is from Ralph Lauren, and this is their Lauren by Ralph Lauren line. And this is just a long-sleeved, 
like little pajama shirts and you can see it has like the little Ralph Lauren logo here and it's like this really pretty like purpley color with like blue and white stripes and it's so so comfortable and in the winter especially in January it was kind of cold so I would wear this to bed at night and it's really comfortable because it kind of has like that long like shirt vibe to it but it's actually more of like a dress um so i don't know why i'm mentioning this i feel really silly for like showing you guys my pajamas but i really really love this and i think it's on sale now because obviously this was like more for winter and so now that they're like moving into spring i think it's on sale so if you guys are interested definitely check it out on the website but yeah i love my little sleep shirt it's just so comfortable and it was definitely a favorite of mine for the month of january i would like go outside and like get the mail in it and my parents would be like put on some clothes like don't walk out there in that but to me i mean it's kind of like a little dress you know but definitely wouldn't wear this out publicly besides getting the mail um, the next thing I want to talk about is a bag and this is actually from Express and I've been using this so much I got this back in let's see October I think it was and it's just a black like faux leather with like all these little gold studs and then it has like the little gold chain and then just like the black leather chain and it's like a crossbody style so you just like wear it like this um but I've really been loving this because I didn't have like a good black crossbody style bag and when I bought this I kind of just needed it for like the night I wanted one to match my outfit so I went out and got it but I actually have been wearing this a ton I've actually gotten a lot of use out of it all the studs have stayed on I haven't seen like any like wear to it at all um the chain still seems to be holding up pretty well and I fill this to the brim um actually inside there are a bunch of great little pockets that I have not made use of but it does have a night like a lot of pockets and a lot of storage and then also has this little like compartment over here for like your phone or something which I think is great because you can slip it in that like compartment so you don't lose it just in the bottom of your bag because I know that can get really annoying but um I definitely really like this and I think it's actually made a lot nicer than like my forever 21 like little cheap bags but um it was pretty inexpensive I think it was only like 16 to 17 dollars at express um but i definitely will be going back to express for like accessories and stuff because i never really had gone in there and i'm not sure why i did that day but i came out with this and after i've had it for a while i think it's really actually made pretty well and i really like it so i might pick up some more accessories from express so I also wanted to mention two people. Um, I wanted to mention my friend Danny Austin, who is Landon Austin's sister. She's making beauty videos and she's doing a great job. So I wanted to give her a little shout out. I'll link her channel below if you want to check it out. Um, if you do go there, please let her know that I sent you in a comment. And yeah, wish her like good luck on her channel. And so I also want to mention Drew Irwin. He did an awesome cover of John Mayer's Your Body is a Wonderland. So I'll link his video like right here and down below if you want to go ahead and click on it. Um, send him some love from me. Let him know that you guys are enjoying his cover because I think he's so talented. And I just love listening to people sing. I really wish I could sing. So I just love hearing him sing. Um, yeah, so I'll link his video below if you want to check it out. But I'll also have my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all that stuff below if you want to follow me on there and I can follow you guys back. But I think that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys had a wonderful month of January. And now it is about to be February, which is going to be very exciting because then it's going to be March and it'll be spring break and then it'll be April and then it'll be May and it'll be summer. So, you know, just hold in there. You're almost there. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys very soon and thanks for watching. Bye everyone.